The Prince of Wales has arrived in Barbados to attend tomorrow's ceremony, marking the island's transition to a republic. Barbados, which gained its independence from the United Kingdom back in 1966, has since been a Commonwealth realm, with the Queen as head of state. Its membership of the Commonwealth will continue, as our correspondent Celestina Olulode reports now from Barbados. Gearing up for a moment in history, this island nation is making a strong statement about how it sees itself. Independence always the Prime Minister of Barbados says the time has come. We believe that the unfinished business um, ought not to go past the 55th anniversary of independence. I am one of the biggest respecters of Her Majesty, but equally I need to know that my people can also do the same thing and respect the same thing. A nation with a complex past, slave ships once docked here, Africans brought and exploited by the British. And it's the sugarcane fields where many were forced to work, cutting down the crop before it was processed. The backbreaking labour led many to die young. After slavery came to an end in 1834, Barbados remained a British colony. Despite gaining its independence in 1966, the Queen has remained the island's head of state, but that's about to change. The transition comes at a time of uncertainty. The pandemic has had a sharp impact on this island's economy, which relies heavily on tourism. We need to be free. But people here still have strong views about becoming a republic. It changes nothing. Is life going to be better tomorrow? Okay, we are going to be in we are going to be a republic. Is it going to be better? Are the people still going to be living from paycheck to paycheck? But Sharon's daughter Lashona sees things differently. For me, becoming a republic means we end that subservience to England and the monarchy and so on. Signs of this island's colonial past are dotted throughout but there are plans to introduce new symbols of national pride. For now, a ceremonial welcome. Prince Charles will attend official events to mark the occasion, a controversial move for some. But the most crucial part of the story of a nation that's fought hard to stand tall on its own is how young Barbadians view themselves and look back at this moment in the future. Celestina Olulode, BBC News, Bridgetown, Barbados.